Hi, welcome to Derek Does. Today we're doing these. So about six months ago, uh, we have an app called Nextdoor and a guy had uh, posted locally this particular motorcane I'm sitting on, um, $75 moped uh, and hadn't run in 20 years. I've never had a moped ever in my life. And I saw it, I happened to be like the first guy to see it because he had just posted, I just, one of those lucky things. And I thought, you know what? I've been uh, dealing with some uh, lawnmowers and stuff like that, moped and bikes. A moped might be kind of fun to play with. So I said, I take it and I went there. And uh, of course he had a huge line of people waiting if, if I didn't show up to get it. And I got it for $75. Uh, he had bought it new uh, in 1979, which is what this um, Motorbicane Mobiet uh, model is. Uh, and he rode it for probably five or six years and then kind of put it away in a shed. Uh, and it kind of stayed in his shed for until I picked it up and he was cleaning out his shed. So for like 30 years or whatever, this moped just sat in a shed wasting time. And I got it, uh, I got online, I looked, watched some videos, you know, what to do, because I'd never played with a moped before. Um, and I did a complete restoration on it uh, from cleaning out the tank. I, uh, uh, and I'll show you all the stuff I did on this particular one. Well, it turns out that mopeds are kind of like, uh, like the industrial showing machines that I have that you see. Um, one kind of multiplies, it happens. I have four now. Uh, I'm gonna sell one of these uh, because I actually, uh, and I'll show you, I picked up two, two totally different transactions in different times. I have a matching pair of 1977 uh Mobiettes, and I'll show you those, and I'll show you everything I'm gonna be doing to it. I've ordered a lot of parts. Uh, with this new one I just picked up, I'll probably have to order more parts from Treats. Um, but then I'll also show you, uh, so these are all French, uh, but I will show you uh, the little Italian job I have too, that I'm probably gonna sell, and I'm just gonna keep everything uh, Mobiettes, uh, so it all kind of matches. I just love these. They're just really nice bikes. Uh, this one was, again, complete and in really fantastic shape considering its age. Now the thing about mopeds and scooters that a lot of people don't know, there's a difference. A moped, as the name implies, has pedals, where a scooter does not. And uh, a moped, you can actually ride this as a little motorcycle basically, or you can pedal it like a bicycle. Uh, still has its original, this little unit is actually a little air pump, just like on a bicycle. Uh, and it fits right here. And that's kind of rare to get on these because usually uh, they are not there. Uh, what I did is I uh, replaced uh, this section of the, of the motor. Uh, I took that out, uh, got a new cylinder, uh, rings, everything like that. It's got a new plug and I did have to replace uh, the muffler on this one because they thread into uh, this unit section of the uh, motor and uh, a lot of times on these motor picanes they uh, have issues uh, where um, the threads get messed up uh, but still has this motor picane it has this really cool uh, m for motor picane uh, and it is registered for state of colorado uh, it has uh, its side pieces, actually has a shock in the back, little section here for your uh, saddlebags, and in here is actually a little uh, tool cover. You can put your tools and such in there. If you come around to the front, uh, regular handlebars, you've got your throttle, brake. Uh, this is to turn off your engine. Uh, you have a key. The key does not actually run the vehicle. Uh, all it does is it locks the front end, so it, theoretically people can't steal it. Uh, and then this also has a little thing here that lifts up that you can uh, put your bike chain through or something like that to lock it. You have your speedometer and your light. 
and over here you have uh, your on and off plus your horn. This one, the horn is not working on it. I will have to figure that out. I'm still working on that one. Okay, so now let's move to the other Moto Bacanes. This one is the one I picked up. Uh, a guy delivered it. Uh, it's got some work it's gonna need done. Uh, it's missing its uh, cover here. Doesn't have a key. Uh, the handlebars are, are toast on this one. The seat, I'm gonna have to condition it uh, and put onto that, fix that. But it's there, it's missing, again, the side pieces. Obviously, he did something here with the carb that's all messed up. I do have a brand new uh, Italian carb I'm gonna put on it, and I did buy a uh, uh, middle section for the uh, top end for the, uh, the motor that I did on this one. That I'm gonna do on this one because the miles on this one show 7,000. So this has a lot more miles. It was ridden a lot harder than, of course, this copper one. But it's pretty much all here. And they even had a, uh, a rider in the back, uh, which you could have because this does have the long seats on it. Uh, and it also is missing uh, the, uh, right here, missing the uh, ignition coil which I just saw Treats today got them in. Uh, they've been out since I got this unit. So I ordered all the parts except for that. And it should bolt up. Obviously, I'll have to get bolts for it too. Uh, but you can see that motor's probably ready for a nice overhaul. Uh, the tires are kind of rough too, so I'm gonna have to replace those. Uh, but it's, it's all kind of here, so that's, that's good. Now this one, very similar thing. I put an ad looking for old mopeds because I kind of got into them. And the moment I put it up there, this lady writes me and has this one. Almost the same as this one. She bought it new in 1977. Uh, has the original books. Uh, it's got, uh, it's again, it's all complete. Uh, it has pretty low miles on it. It's got 2,000. 500 on it. Uh, the the uh, speedometer cable got messed up and she stopped riding it in the 80s and never really fixed it ever ever since then. Its last tag is I think they're 81. Uh, but it's a beautiful a beautiful it's actually better than this one because uh, this one's a little more this one has like the chrome piece here this this one's missing the chrome piece. This one actually has the tools inside here, uh, plus the sides, uh, and again, the pedal. It's, uh, and she, obviously her horn broke at one time, so she put that on it, uh, which is kind of funny. It was missing the key, and that was the only thing that was missing on this particular bike. And the seat's just as good as on the copper one. Uh, but all three of these are Moto Bacane, uh, Mobiettes, and that's a 50, cylinder or a 50 cc uh little engine in there all right my last one which is the italian one i picked up this red little number as you might say is a negrini harvard uh, and this one i believe is a 78. Uh, this one was not working when i got it uh, the tail light i have it but the bolt they had whoever had it before me had messed that up and needs to be a needs to be put on there it the, the it did not run when I got it, uh, and the main thing was I had to open up here uh, and retime it, uh, and then I had to clean, change the fuel line, cleaned out the tank, uh, did all that, uh, and I got it working. Unfortunately, it only goes about 20 right now. These other bikes will actually go uh, to 35, which is a decent speed on these things. I don't know if I want to go faster than that because it's they're not motorcycles; they're just a little bit fatter bicycles. Uh, and you just don't want to go too fast on these things. But this one's kind of cool. It's, it's got all these little American market Negrini. They're trying to sell it to Americans. Uh, now, the really cool thing on this one, well, it's got two things. It's got this cool, almost uh, old Mustang uh, fuel. Uh, the other ones are just twist, but it only has 360 miles on this thing. Uh, you got your on and off, 
starts up. It's a different style of moped completely to these French ones. Uh, this one actually has like a uh, clutch system. Uh, now a moped is not allowed to actually have a uh, uh, clutch that you move yourself. This is like an automatic. Uh, and the uh, mobiettes have a variator where it actually moves this way. This one's built into it. Uh, and uh, you actually have this, you have to pull this down to get it started. Uh, I won't start it because they do smell a bit in an enclosed uh, room because it's a two cycle or two stroke engine. Uh, so you mix fuel and you mix uh, oil. But you can see it's in really nice shape. And this one also has its, uh, this is what Negrini offered uh, as a uh, little air pump on it. Uh, but it's really good. I'm gonna sell this one and just gonna keep with the, uh, the Mobiettes. I really only need three of them. Uh, I don't need four. And again, this one has a, just a regular seat instead of the long seat. I don't think this was an option on these. Uh, the nice thing is you can uh, put your feet on the pedals or if you're going for a long ride, you can actually put your feet, both of all these bikes have this, you can just put your feet up kind of like a scooter uh, and then you can just ride this way. Uh, and they all have mirrors, uh, but as you can see, these all have places too for your feet that you can put them up there. The really cool thing about mopeds, at least uh, where I am in Colorado, is to get a tag, you it costs $5.20, I think, or something along that nature. Uh, you get a tag that you have to put on your bike. Uh, this one's the original from 81. Oops. And then this one is the current one uh, with today's, and they, they're good for like four years you don't need a license, and all you have to do is get them uh, insured. Uh, and I got this insured, I got them all insured. And it's only like $100 a year to buy insurance for these things. So it's just a no brainer not to have one. If you, I mean, unless you don't like being in the open road, but if you do, this is really great. And you can ride them in the bike lane which is really cool. Like you can ride these in the bike lane on the road and you don't have to worry about being run over or anything along that nature. Uh, the only thing you have to worry about is them uh, braking and having to pedal home. Uh, now they do, this one, the, the Mobiettes hold almost a gallon uh, in their tank. Uh, the Negrini only holds like a three quarters of a gallon, uh, but you get, over 100 miles a gallon on these things. So you can go a long way with these. You really can. I really love them, obviously. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't have four of them. And it, it's getting a little crazy that I have four of these things now. Uh, I'd love to get them all in uh, the different colors they offered. Uh, Cause I know they may have been red and white and black and that sort of thing would be kind of cool. Uh, but uh, these are, are my mopeds. So I hope you liked this video, uh, kind of showing you what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be restoring the two blue ones. Uh, the copper one's still good to go. I ride this once a week at least, uh, just to keep everything working and it's just really fun. Um, if you like this, uh, subscribe because I'm gonna be uh, restoring the, the two blue ones pretty soon. Uh, and I'll show you what I, what I will be doing. I will have to order some parts because uh, I know I'll need a few parts here and there for uh, getting these together. Uh, feel free to like, comment, all that stuff. Uh, if you like mopeds, then uh, I love mopeds, so you might like this. So uh, I'll see you next time, and uh, hopefully I'll be uh, getting these things running. See ya.